Hey YouTube, so in this video I'm going to tell you how I cleared my skin in just one week. I don't know what was going on with my skin. I just had a massive breakout for about like a month. It just seemed like it was getting worse and worse and worse and nothing was stopping it. I tried a variation of mask and this particular mask helped me get rid of my breakout in literally just one week. These are my results after about a week and a half and as you can see I have a little bit of scarring but that will go away when I keep doing the treatments. The first ingredient is egg. Now if you go online and look for do it yourself face mask you're going to see egg incorporated in a lot of the do it yourself tutorials for getting rid of acne or even decreasing the size of your pores. The benefits of egg. Egg is packed with collagen, which is great for toning and tightening your skin. It has vitamin A, protein. It helps with the elasticity of your skin. It also treats acne, fine lines, wrinkles, and it moisturizes dull and dry skin. The next ingredient that I'm going to be using is cinnamon. Cinnamon is also found in a lot of the do-it-yourself face masks to get rid of acne because it helps dry out the pimples and the bacteria within your skin. Cinnamon has a lot of benefits when you're using it in a do-it-yourself face mask. It is an antioxidant. It's also an anti-inflammatory. It dries out pimples. It circulates the blood flow and oxygen to the outer surface of the skin. It unclogs and opens pores and also removes excess oil from the skin surface. And for this particular face mask, I'm going to be using two tablespoons of cinnamon and then just one egg. A lot of ingredients online actually say to just use the egg white. I actually used the whole egg. I didn't see that there was much of a difference between using egg whites and the whole egg. And then I used two tablespoons of cinnamon just because I liked a more thicker consistency. This is a do-it-yourself face mask, so I don't really believe that there is a right or wrong way to do it. Each skin type is completely different, and what works for me won't necessarily work for you. One thing that I can say is a lot of people online were saying cinnamon was terrible for their skin. It actually burned their skin, and it irritated their skin and also caused redness. So you might want to do a patch test to see if this is the right mask for you. From my experience with this particular face mask, I like to let it sit in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes because it thickens up, the consistency isn't as messy. Before you do this, you don't want to freshly wash your face and exfoliate. If you exfoliate your face and your pores are open, when you put on this face mask, it definitely will burn. The cinnamon will tingle to a level where it's really uncomfortable. And from my experience from doing this face mask for about a week, I did notice that the first day I felt a slight tingling sensation just from the cinnamon. And the second and third day, I felt no tingling sensation that was uncomfortable. So my assumption is the longer that the egg and the cinnamon is mixed together, the less it will tingle. For the first few days, I just left this on until it completely dried to where it was cracking. For do-it-yourself beauty recipes, I don't think you should follow anybody's specific steps. Everyone's imperfections and problem areas are different, so we're going to need to use different types of methods. So I didn't follow any 20 to 30 minute rule. I just tried different things to see what best suited my skin. There were a few nights where I actually slept in this face mask by accident. The first time that I slept in this, I woke up really nervous. And when I washed my face, my skin actually looked better than just leaving it on for 30 minutes. So there were other nights where I actually did sleep in the mask, but I did not sleep in the mask all seven days of applying the mask to my skin. When I was filming for the tutorial, I wanted to film this in natural daylight so you can really see what my natural skin look like without lighting and without all the extras, which makes your skin actually look better even if you are having a breakout. I left this mask on for about an hour and this is what it looks like when everything is completely evenly coated on your skin. As far as storing it, I did read online that it was okay to store a cracked egg for about three to four days and that actually worked out perfectly because with the ingredients that I use, this makes about three to four masks. Obviously you want to put it in something that is sealed shut and you want to store this in one of the coolest parts of your refrigerator. After about an hour, this is what the face mask should look like on your skin. It should be very dry and crack. One of the perks of sleeping in this mask was you didn't have to walk around with it on your face because it can kind of be uncomfortable when you first do it. It does not leave any residue on your pillows and then you wake up with really soft, smooth, textured skin. I like to peel some of it off before I rinse it off of my face and then just rinse off with warm water. 
if you guys noticed how large my pores were before I put the mask on versus how it minimized and smoothed out my face to after, that's one of the benefits of this mask. Now that my skin has cleared up, I don't use this on my face every single day. I just use it as a spot treatment when I have problem areas. But this is the mask that completely cleared up my skin. I hope that it works for anybody else who tries this. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys on the next upload. If you guys have any additional questions or want to see the actual recipe written down, I put everything on my website, which is www.thefindguru.com. Just go ahead and click on the YouTube tab and click the blog post for how to get rid of acne in one week. And I talk about some of the things that I didn't necessarily go in depth about in the YouTube video. If you scroll down, there will also be some pictures that obviously weren't in my YouTube video. The winner for my 25 giveaways to Christmas is actually posted on the blog, so go ahead and check it out. If you want to be the winner for the next 25 giveaways till Christmas, all you have to do is like this video, like my other videos, and just show me love in the comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.